They're in the front. Wow, that is such a rad little film. There's so many good things we just got to talk about. First of all, silent films were obviously the first films. There's a setup and there's a payoff, and that it's kind of these continuously running jokes and scenarios where they're getting themselves into trouble. And let's go back and watch it again. So the music's great. Simple. And this is obvious. They're setting this up. They're setting this up for you for the payoff at the end. So it's opening with the payoff, which, you know, is mundane to us and we're not, this, this doesn't even cross our mind. And the filmmakers chose to tell us what's happening with the first shot. And th they've also done, have an, an incredibly good job with audio in this. And then more specifically, when you're listening to it, listen to how the audio, they're controlling where the audio is moving through space. There's a, the, a moment in here later where she walks from that living room to the kitchen. And literally the audio of the television pivots from surround sound to like your right side, more predominantly on your right side. And it, that, those type of techniques, right? Controlling audio in terms of like where the characters are, where we are and moving that. It, it is creating atmosphere, and that atmosphere is creating really believability, and it's, in, it's kind of bringing you into the film experience. This is a pretty simple lighting setup. You know, they have one big key light, a little light down here. Um, I, I, that light, I partly wish there was another light from the inside back here just to add some separation from her and the wall, right? But that's, again... That's specifically for this this shot too. I mean, there there is a light there, and so I think you know it's it's okay, it's not bad. I I definitely appreciate that it, it is essentially a one light setup, and it, they did it really well. At least they gave a leading line on this, so there is it's not a flat light on the back wall. They didn't just turn a light and blast it on there, so it does create dimension, which is that's good. And listen to this. Let's go back and listen again. Okay. Music. Cuts. All these cuts are on the beat. On the musical beat. That's a great cut to black. They... It, it, it's essentially, they gave us an intro to the short film. And then now the kind of film is going to keep going. And it, it's 
just a good choice. A good simple choice that creates dynamic for us. It's engaging. Super wonderful, just medium. And it's, they, look at that, they, they did, they gave us that leading line on her face too, so she's also just not under one light flat. And this actress's, her facial expressions are her very expressive. Her face is very expressive. Good. Not overplayed. That's so great because it immediately is informing us what's happening now. Now we know. Okay. And they did a really good, great job of letting... Look how long that is. This is a three-minute short film. Three minutes. This is ending at... That cut is at 50 seconds. Boom. 20 seconds. This is a 30-second shot in a three-minute short film. I mean, they're, they're devoting a lot of time to this, but they're letting her and the story and the moment happen in front of us. They're not, they didn't choose to do, cut a bunch around. And that also speaks to kind of the time of silent films where they're not doing a lot of cuts. She's hilarious. Now they changed the light. Now they've added that extra light for us on her face. That's okay. What's also awesome about that happening is now the dynamic of the story is changing, right? She lost control of this amazingly fun thing. And that choice, it makes it humorous for us. It's, it's funny. So now, obviously, we're, we're, it's humorous because now she's convinced that she's stuck this way since she was controlling it. And, oh, God. Now listen to the audio on this next cut. Where's it? Hilarious. That's a funny... I mean, her creeping in here is pretty... Rising into frame. She made such a little eye twitch here where she takes her ears off and she's like suspicious. Is it gonna is it gonna keep getting is it gonna keep getting loud? Watch her eye. So good. That's the first close up we had with Rue. Besides the opening one. That little cut gives this passage of time. 
they jumped they just jump cut to a little bit later now she's just going full ham on this thing <laughs> And then they, to move to this part of the transition to the last part of the story, right? This is, and then that, the, so this transition is Only technical thing is so, and it's just ticky tacky. Could be what doesn't really matter. Her hair's down. Hair's up. Whatever. That's great. Again, we're using the full range of cinematic possibility. We're using sound, and I think that's really great about this. Is it's an emphasis on sound and visual comedy, the two together. Um, that's a kind of an, a loss to art today. Is that and and um, it's something that you know we're really missing. Most comedy today is just verbal. It's just improv sketch comedy, improv in front of each other where they just have talking heads. But here we go. We hear it hit the ground, and we immediately know. Oh. The reveal. Awesome. That was really, really cool. I had a great time watching that. That was a lot of fun. I I would say if you want to try your hand at making a short film, a silent short film even. It's a good exercise to to learn how to manipulate and use sound and visual comedy or just control, um, add it as a tool in your toolbox, right? We just want to keep putting tools in there, little things that we pick up. A really good director that uses lots of visual and audible comedy is Edgar Wright. So if you haven't, I'm sure you have, watch literally any Edgar Wright film and you will pick up on all of that and they're l so richly layered into his work that it's inescapable as always i had a great time i'm glad you guys hung out with me uh, there's going to be an email at the end of the video send us a link to your film we want to watch it we want to check it out we want to share it if you guys enjoyed this subscribe turn on the bell notifications so you can see what i'm posting and as always thanks for hanging out and hey let's make some films